Let's say we're on the Titanic, as I said, and you knew it was sinking. <laughs> Some people were jumping off the huge ocean liner and getting into lifeboats that are bobbing out there in the cold, dark ocean. You look around the Titanic, the lights are still on, the music's still playing, the ship's still above water. It seems secure. You've been comfortable there before. Do you stay on the Titanic knowing it might sink? Or do you get into that crowded lifeboat and take a chance with the unknown dangers of the ocean at night? That's what a lot of people feel about this election right now. It's future change versus past security. Barack Obama, young, little-known candidate, is all about change. John McCain, a familiar member of the Washington establishment, is defined by his hawkish views on national security. Tonight, we're going to take a look at the decision in 08. And joining us right now is Pat Buchanan and Joan Walsh and John Harwood. So, Pat, you're first. That's a big decision. You got to decide to get out of the big boat that's sinking right. and get in the little boat or stay there. I think you stay on the big boat and go on down with it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you did with Nixon. <laughs> you never oh, talked. Boy. Uh, what, look, what, uh, what Barack offers is you're right. He offers freshness, use, change, but also risk. And deliverance. And well, and, and yeah, but what he doesn't offer right now is reassurance. McCain has done a smart thing here. If you're talking gasoline prices or housing foreclosures, the economy, Nixon, Cheney, it's 80 10, get rid of them. McCain turns it around and says, the issue here is. Barack Obama is going to try to solve our economic problem by raising taxes on Social Security right. folks. Capital gains tax, you got a small investment, he's going to double those. Taxes on the most successful in the country. You don't do that in a recession. Okay. That's a good 50-50 argument. 